So for chapter 18, we're going to be mopping up the Massilia here. In the last video I took their, their settlement, their one and only settlement, and luckily um, the three full stacked armies didn't reinforce um, the one in the, uh, in the uh, settlement for some reason. But I'm not complaining. I get a chance to finish them off. Uh, as you can see, I've created a, a land bridge now between my two areas. Um, my alliance in the middle is still holding steady, and I have a client state here. The, the con, or whatever. Don't know how to pronounce it. Um, the only thing I'm worried about at this stage is the possibility of the Nervi. Nervi? 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 <laughs> um, becoming aggressive. And yeah, that worries me quite a lot because they're very big. Going to be quite powerful. And they don't like me. Uh, even my allies don't particularly like me. The defensive allies. So, yeah. Neither do my uh, does my client state. So they hate me, in fact. So I'm beginning beginning to become a little bit worried. Yeah, my defensive allies here <laughs> detest me. My client state detest me. And the Adui don't hate me, at least. So that's that's something. Um, but yeah, after this, I need to start thinking about what I do next. Um, my strategy throughout the game has always been, as it was with Caesar, divide and conquer. Let me just get this cracking. So I'm attacking with um, this is Crassus. This is the army that came from the east, and Caesar should be reinforcing from within the south. Oh, I have an extra set of reinforcements. Ah, just carry some troops, which are useless. I'm going to fight this one. I wouldn't necessarily need to, but um, as always, the AI will simply throw weak troops into battle and destroy them. And if you're playing easier settings, that might be fine, but you can't do that with Legendary. You have to conserve, conserve all of the units you can. Okay, dry, that's good. Where are my reinforcements coming from? They're coming from my right side here. So I'm going to position my army in this. Uh, well, here. I can afford a fairly loose formation at this point. This should be the classic Roman battle, if I'm lucky, where they attack. I simply pound them with heavy artillery. I can flank them with my cavalry. I may even. No, I'm not going to hide them. And uh, firing them with archers. And they just expend themselves on. So I'm hoping they attack. I always hope they attack. It's always better, I find. If you're, especially if you're facing a smaller army, to uh, Caesar himself. I'm going to keep Caesar on. No, I don't normally do this, but I'm going to keep him on just because he is the commander. The commander. And there's nothing wrong with a little bit of roleplay. I'm going to put my garrison troops up front. Don't, they are entirely expendable. So if they soak up a bit of fire, all the better. Any units that oops, any units that have any damage from the last battle taking a settlement, I'm going to pull them off immediately. All I want to do is protect them. So let's form up first. Even these guys, heavy leader is 91. I'm going to pull them off. I shouldn't need them. And. Uh, now I'm wondering if they're going to attack now, because what the AI tend to do is form a big long line and then attack, but they almost always tend to attack, and it's 
it's, it's a bit of a flaw. It's a bit unrealistic, I find. Because if you were facing a larger army, you wouldn't attack. You wouldn't. You would simply um, find the best position you could, the highest ground you could, and uh, force the opposing army to attack you. That would be the smarter strategy. Let's just quickly Let's get my cavalry all together on the hill here. Form them into a group. Looks like that might be it. Have I got any more reinforcements coming? No. Okay, yeah. You see, so they're attacking now regardless. Which is yeah, a bit of a shame really, but whatever. They don't really seem to have any cavalry, which is good. I can use mine to greater effect. So, they seem to be heading up the hill. Hmm, interesting. Would it would be interesting if they take that hill. I'm not going to move my army just yet because my artillery are here. Actually, I'm going to stop them auto firing because the more hoplites they can kill, the better. Ballista! Giant ballista! So I'm going to force them to attack the hoplites when they get within range. Yeah, that'll do. Again, the AI won't necessarily attack them unless you want them to. So there is always a benefit to um, not auto resolving. Battles. Garrison units up. They seem to have. They have quite a lot of skirmishers. They won't have any particular range, though, which is good. Gonna. Okay, they're coming. That's fine. I'm gonna send my cavalry round. Do have some cavalry. We'll keep one unit of cavalry back. The others I'm going to bring round. The more I can split their army, the better. Right, I'm getting ready for the uh, attack now. March. Put my cavalry round behind them. Oh, they left archers out in the open. That'd be interesting. We may just have time to watch that. We await your command. Take him. Uh, just notice their um At the main forces on the. Left. Advance at speed. So I'm just beginning to. Double time. Sons of Mars. Quickly now. Okay, this is when it really begins. Advance at speed. I brought heavy legionaries left. And right, just to make sure that they don't slip through the gaps, which is very well, they very well may do. Get my cavalry coming back in from behind. These cavalry here positioned on the left, just to make sure that my archers don't get hit. They're probably a bit too exposed. Here. Redirect my artillery onto their general. Uh, yeah, my archers are too exposed, so I'm going to bring them back. I'm going to bring these, these cavalry into play here. I'm going to split. Cover it at the back into two 
parts so I can attack them on both sides and then just keep an eye on numbers oh shit so I'm too late 12 left that's gone so I'm gonna lose one unit at least I may lose two Cavalry have come in. Pulling back out to get attacked by their cavalry. in the middle here. There's not really a great deal I can do about it at the moment. I'm going to have to use my cavalry to try and break one side. I'm going to have to pull these units back or I'm going to lose them all. Yeah, I have enough of a wall. Let's break them. Bring them back. My archer is doing a fantastic job. And yeah, our line is holding. Pull my cavalry up for another charge. Archer is doing a great job. I'm gonna pull my ballista, my artillery back just in case any of them break through. I'm going to pull my archers onto one side because their right side is actually quite strong. It's going to take a few charges to break them down. The left side should win but it's taking some time. Let's turn that into an attack. broken. Ok, I'm going to need to bring my archers into play to really finish these guys off. This is why I don't like hoplites. You have to hit them in the flank to beat them. Which I can do, because I have the numbers and I have the positioning in battle, but I don't like it. You end up losing a lot of troops. Skirmishers! Oh, use these legionaries to hit them in the rear, pull that unit off. Just pull them off as well. Here we go. That's when the archers start to do their work, and this charge should finish them. Oh, the unit of legionaries there with only 44 left, pulling back out behind the large one. Yeah, they should do it. Cavalry fire. Yeah, come on, come on, break. Yeah, just about. Just about. Come on. Yeah, okay. Whew. Should have only lost one unit there. But let's see. Come on. They have one unit of skirmishers yet. Lost one. Good. Exactly as I thought. Is that all? That's the end of that army. Make haste, men. Ready for battle. Okay, that unit needs to recover. Taking quite a beating. They're uh, yeah. Can't really move anymore. So what do we have? We have Mark Antony, 
18 units. Uh, all full health. I'm going to buy him some mercenaries just to fill the gaps. I don't have. <laughs> I've used all my money. Yeah, I spend my money on um, upgrading these buildings, by the way. But I think I might wait with those so I can hire that other unit. Yeah. Yeah. Two units of uh, hoplites would do just nicely. Mercenary hoplites versus hoplites is going to be incredibly useful. And. Ready for orders, Commander! It doesn't look like these armies are going to reinforce each other which is perfect so I just need to choose the which one to attack. They're both almost exactly the same. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave that for the next episode. Just put a little break here to uh, shorten the video length. The last one was quite a big one so I'll stop it there. Cheers guys!